Macroinvertebrates.org is an innovative teaching and learning collection designed to support freshwater insect identification in citizen science and environmental education. The site currently features a digital collection of 150 commonly found macroinvertebrates in the eastern United States. To navigate the collection, select one of the orders from the home screen. This opens the order level page, where you will find all families in that order in our collection organized alphabetically. On the right, there's a panel with three tabs. The page opens to the Diagnostic Characters tab on default, which shows the key diagnostic features common to all organisms in this order. You can click the blue plus sign in the corner next to any feature to pull up a gallery of all images of that feature throughout the collection. Clicking on an individual thumbnail will take you directly to that specimen, or you can close this box using the X in the upper right corner to return to the order page. You can also find the expanded character list, which tells you all features common to this order. You can switch to see information about the order by selecting the Information tab, which has an overview and life history of the order. Key glossary terms are underlined in blue, and clicking on any of these terms will bring up the definition. The Media tab on the right provides photos, illustrations, and videos related to the specimens you are currently viewing, as well as related images from iNaturalist. You can clear away this panel by clicking the gray bar on the right to see the images by themselves. The buttons on the lower left allow you to flip specimens to see other available views. Many of our specimens have dorsal, lateral, and ventral views, but if a view is not available for a particular specimen, it will gray out. You can return to the default view by clicking the button again. From the order page, clicking on any individual specimen leads to the zoomable page of that specimen, while clicking any family name takes you to the family level page, where you will find the same functionalities to flip specimens or clear the interface. Now, when you select the Diagnostic Characters tab, you can see additional characteristics specific to family, designated by these different symbols. The Information tab also has more family-level information, including specific pollution tolerance values by region. In the Media tab, some families may also include expert audio interviews with Dr. John Morris. Larvae of ephemeralidae are very common and widespread. Clicking on an individual specimen will take you to the Specimen Zoomable page where you can flip, zoom, and drag the photo with your mouse or touchpad, or with the plus and minus buttons in the lower left. You can explore the diagnostic characters on each specimen, either by selecting a feature in the Diagnostic Characters tab, or by clicking on one of the markers on the image itself. To navigate back to a different order, family, or genus, you can click the little down arrow in the menu across the top of the page. If you're trying to identify a specimen, but are not sure where to start, Use the identification key on the home page in the upper right corner. Start at the top and work through each couplet. If you're not sure about the features described in a couplet, click on the blue plus sign in the corner to open a card with a brief description and related images from our collection. Once you have followed the key and found your order, access it by clicking directly on the image. You'll notice that some orders have associated suborders. For example, order Odonata includes damselflies and dragonflies. By default, all families in the order will be shown, but you can filter using the buttons up top. There are several other ways to navigate our site. When you open the menu and click Navigational Views, you will see four different methods. Insect Order View, which can direct you to an individual insect order, as represented by these illustrations. Full Collection View, which has all of the specimen in our collection laid out. Full Taxa List, where every specimen is listed alphabetically, with the ability to flip and zoom on the image without any annotations, and the phyla index where you can search any specimen from phylum. You can use the search field to search the digital collection for any taxon, character, or term in our database. Results will appear for matching glossary terms, diagnostic features, and informational text. The glossary can also be found under resources in the menu. Other resources we have available include training materials that are free for anyone to download. These include a printable identification key, order sheets for EPTs, the mayflies, stoneflies, and caddisflies, a macroinvertebrates.org poster, and a volunteer level training deck that can be adapted for your own use. Order illustrations and high resolution images are also available for download. Our site also features a practice quiz, which allows you to try your hand at identifying random specimens from our collection. The practice quiz has the same features as the website to flip, zoom, and look at key diagnostic characters. The quiz also allows you to keep track of the number of macroinvertebrates you correctly and incorrectly identified. 
If you need help with a website, this video and a quick start guide are under help, along with frequently asked questions. If you find any bugs on the site, of the technical or scientific kind, you can report these under the Report Site Issues link. To contact the project team, use the General Inquiry link. If you would like to find out more about how we built the site or read publications from our research, visit the project blog and about page. This is an ongoing National Science Foundation supported project and all of the resources and material are made available under Creative Commons license. Thanks to all of our partners and collaborators for their work in creating this innovative online teaching and learning resource.